Ladies and gentlemen, this past day, I was listening to a young man do a video, and he was talking about a gentleman who calls himself Patriot something. And he was telling him how he agreed with most of what he was saying, but there are certain things that he didn't agree with. And he talked about going into the courts. And he says that what the person needed to understand is that everything is on the back end, not on the front end. Now, here's the thing. Many of you are having problems with the courts ignoring your petitions. You'll put a petition on the record and you'll find that they will not pay any attention to it. Now, if you will pay attention to me when I'm doing my petitions, I don't allow the system to use the word argument. I don't allow the system to use the word submit it. Ever. Submit, submit it, argue, argument, conclusion. I'm not concluding nothing. <laughs> Man, I'm leaving it open for me to say whatever I want to whenever I feel like it. So I do summarizations. I summarize everything. I don't conclude no petition. Here's the point you need to understand. There are two points. First, when you do a petition, no one can deny you. As long as you're asking for constitutionally secured lawful request that's within the court's power to grant, they cannot deny you. Just that simple. First Amendment says that that right cannot be abridged, so they can't ignore your petitions. But you didn't know that, and so they are. So what you have to start doing is you have to document the fact that they're paying attention to the attorney's petitions, and they're not paying attention to mine, which is denying me the right to equal protection and equal access to the court. So you have the right to access the court. By blocking access to the court, that's known as gatekeeping. So accuse them of gatekeeping. That's your first thing. That's how you get them to pay attention. And keep that one, that petition, notifying them of that, keep that one simple. Keep that one one page. Big, bold letters so that they can see. I would actually, to get their attention, put it in all caps. Seriously. We know that on computer that's yelling and screaming and all of that bull that is taken us. But when you put it in all caps before the court, I promise you, you'll get their attention. And I guarantee you, they'll talk about, I wasn't ignoring. Yes, you were. So do me a favor. Stop lying. You were ignoring me. You didn't pay attention to me until I brought this up. Well, that means I'm paying attention. No, that means you're paying attention now. So ignore me again and see if I don't bring a claim against your bond for gatekeeping and blocking access to the court. I ask you a question. And if my question is a legitimate question that pertains to this matter, you will respond to my question or it will be deemed a non-response and not responding to something you have a duty to respond to is a violation of your oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, they were hired to do a job. So make them do their job. Now, getting back to the gentleman who talked about the back end, he was 100% right. There is a back end. I'm going to let you know where that back end is. It's called the registry clerk. The court's registry clerk. This is not the presiding clerk, the so-called chief clerk. This clerk is oftentimes different. It's usually a deputy clerk. Find out who the registry clerk is and do your research. What? You didn't know about the court registry system? It's called the Chris system. Go ahead. The court registry system. Chris. C-R-I-S. The court registry investment system. What do you think that they're doing? Just investing? No, they're handling all of the monetary things. Now, when I heard them do the video and I'm like, yeah, I got distracted. I did. I got distracted because I told you I got with myself being included seven people out of jail. Seven. With just taking care of things on the back end. Seriously. Seriously. There's not one size fits all. Okay, I will let you know that 
for the most part. There's not a one size fits all. It's just an understanding of how it's done. Some of you are going to get it and some of you ain't. And I can't help you if you don't get it. But I can say that gentleman appears to have gotten it up to a point. All right. That's what I wanted to tell y'all this moment. Now, in the video I just did on money creation, how to create money lawfully and legally. Y'all you probably have to go over that at least 15 times because there's just too much information in that one 30 minute video. Or 20 minute, 20 minute. That's 20 minutes. But I personally think that I have not done a better video uh, that's packed with information more so than that one. So, you know, it's one of those things that you're going to have to realize its value. Hey, I got to go. Six minutes, five seconds, you know, what, what else can I say?